Hello and welcome back. In our previous tutorial, we had created a launch file to load our robotic arm simulation that we had created using the Move It Setup Assistant. If you have not watched that video, please watch it here. So in that tutorial, uh, we had seen how to launch the robotic arm simulation using a custom launch file. And we had tried to set some predefined positions using RVs. But in that tutorial, we had uh, faced an issue with uh, one position, uh, which was to pick an object. So when we try to set that uh, position, our end effector was trying to go into the ground plane and it was causing the uh, end effector link to get distorted. So let me show you. So if I select here the position, so I will select the planning group as arm group and I will select the uh, position as pick object and I will click on plan and execute. So you can see the robotic arm is moving to that position. And now you can see the robotic arm links in the gazebo have started to get distorted. This is happening because the end effector links are trying to uh, like go into the ground plane and as uh, we cannot dig into this ground it is getting distorted uh, as per the real life situation if i rotate it you can see it is like little bit of going downward in the ground plane so to correct this issue we need to modify the angle values for the joints in the uh, in the file which contains the values for the predefined positions so the file will contain in your workspace so mine is the move it workspace so you need to open your move it or your catkin workspace you need to go to its csrc folder and you need to open the manipulator package that we had created using move it setup assistant then open the config folder and here you will find the file one SRDF file you will find here with the name of your uh, robotic arm uh, or the robotic arm URDF package. So open this file using the text editor. So if you look at this file, you will find that it contains the values of our uh, move groups. So if you see here at the beginning, we have here the robot name, which is the robot arm URDF then we have the definition for two groups like arm groups sorry arm group and the joints it contains then we have the hand group and its two joints after that we have the predefined positions for the hand group and the arm group so here we need to find the uh, position which is the peak object position so if you come here on line number 46 here you can find the uh, position pick object and its joint values. So to remove the issue or correct the problem, we need to adjust these angle values so that our robotic arm end effector will remain little bit above the ground plane. So to find the correct values for the uh, angles or the joint angles of our robotic arm, we can use RVs. So let me show you how to do that. So you can open the RVs. Sorry, you need to open the RVs. Now uh, position the robotic arm in such a way that you can, you will be able to see it like this. So please uh, look at uh, my screen. Try to situate your robotic arm in RVs like this. You can rotate it little bit. And here you can see our robotic uh, end effector is a go digging or going into the ground plane. So to adjust its position, you can use this arrows. So I will uh, use this red arrow to move it little bit of upward. And I will use this green uh, circle to uh, rotate the joint a little bit. Now I will again uh, take it little bit of above. Now click on the plan button and then click on execute button so here you can see in gazebo our end effector is uh, moved little bit of upward now select the hand group and give the position hand closed and click on plan and execute and now you can see our robotic end effector have stopped any kind of distortion 
so it is uh, correctly positioned okay so you need to find a suitable position in which the robotic arm uh, end effector will not get distorted so this is the perfect position now we need to get the joint angle values now to get the joint angle values first you need to select the planning group as arm group and now go to the joints so here you will find the uh, joint angle values of the current position of the robotic arm now here you can see the values are given in degree and if you open the srdf file you will find here the values are in radian so now we need to convert these values in degree into radian and we need to replace them here so to convert these values to a radian we need to multiply it by pi and divide it by 180 so i will open a calculator so the joint one value is zero degree so it will be a zero radian so we will keep it as it is next the joint two is 70 degree so i will enter here 70 multiply by pi and divide it by 180 and i will click on equal to button now copy this value and replace the value available in the srdf file with this new value for the joint 2 similarly do it for the other uh, joint angle values so here the joint 3 is minus 28 so i will take it here 28 multiply by pi divided by 180 and i will press enter now copy this value and here for joint 3 keep the minus sign as it is just replace the value similarly do it for joint 4 and joint 5 sorry you need to multiply by pi and divide it by 180 keep the minus sign as it is now for joint 5 it will be 90 by pi sorry divided by 180 and press enter so it will be 1.57 so i will copy the complete value and put it here and now i will close this calculator and save the srdf file close it now i will open the terminal and i will press ctrl c to stop the simulation It will take some time to stop all the running processes. Once the simulation is stopped, you can use the upward facing arrow key to re-execute the command and press enter. So it will load your uh, simulation again. Now I will adjust the windows a little bit. now let's try to set the uh, peak object position for our robotic arm so select the planning group as arm group and select the goal state as peak object position and click on plan and execute now you can see our robotic end effector is not getting distorted so you can select the uh, hand group and select the position as hand closed and click on plan and execute again you can try to open it by setting the position as hand opened and click on plan and execute so you can see everything is going very well and our end effector is not getting distorted so we have successfully uh, repaired the wrong uh, position values in our next tutorial we will try to set the predefined positions using a python script so please stay tuned.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button if you like my videos and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.